That's my aircraft up there. It's been in my family for a long time. In 1964, when my grandfather started here for de Havilland Aircraft, one of the first planes he had worked on was the Buffalo. Then in 1979, when my dad had started, he was here working on the Dash 8. Then in 1999, when I started here, I started working on the Q400 series, and since that time, it's been a very exciting adventure. This has been not only a part of Canadian heritage, but this is part of my heritage. I'm part of it. I guess I've been part of aviation all my life. My father was a, uh, was a commercial pilot. I was uh, very fortunate sometimes to uh, actually go with him flying. I couldn't see over the dashboard, so all of the time I had to fly was always in uh, was, uh, what's called instrument flight references. I uh, wasn't so interested in flying as I was so much on uh, what made airplanes work and how they operated. I asked my father a lot of times uh, what this did and what that did. Now I'm a mechanical engineer, technologist here at Bombardier Aircraft. Bombardier design philosophy was to work from the inside out. Uh, we had to look at the aircraft from all customer point of views. Not just the customer who owns the aircraft or owns the airline, but the customer buying the ticket because we felt if that customer was happy, then the customer who owned the airplane would be happy as well. Bombardier wished to employ as many of the Canadian suppliers as we could. This is being a very proud Canadian model, bringing in the people from all across the land to build this product. I'm very proud to be part of it. Just right over my house, the uh, work shuttle, which is the Q400, uh, flies its route directly over my house, uh, along with some of the flight tests. So you get a real sense of pride when you look up and you can see your aircraft flying. So just to have friends and family uh, fly on the product and, and tell me that they think about me when they're, they're flying, it's a real sense of pride. Back 16, 17 years ago, uh, had the opportunity to start working with Bombardier. The story turns into a bit of a love story uh, because I met my husband who works for Bombardier. And a long story short, I ended up uh, in Canada and now a very proud Canadian. Over the years, uh, I've seen the evolution of the aircraft as it entered into service. I've uh, had the pleasure of working with all of the operators uh, as they've come to buy their aircraft. They like the versatility that we've given to them to allow them to operate it under their needs. And it's really quite amazing to think at the end of the day that we build that aircraft and uh, see it operated and, and see everybody connecting around the world. Q400 has been quite revolutionary. Um, since we designed the aircraft, we had always the pilot in mind as far as uh, the engine controls and making it easier for the flight crew to uh, handle the power. First time I flew this aircraft, I was amazed at how much power it had. It was outstanding. It really uh, performs well. It's got an extra almost 100 knots advantage in cruise speed. Uh, this is uh, fantastic for operational planning, optimizing fuel burns, optimizing your route structure. It's a great aircraft. It's quality built here in Toronto. It's built to last. And it'll still be in service long after the competitors are in the Boneyard in Arizona. Well, I remember being five years old. At that time, my dad was uh, serving coffee to all the employees here at this company with this coffee truck. And I remember standing outside watching the planes take off and land, just standing there. Flash forward 25 years later, my dad heads security operations and I'm building these Q400 aircraft. I'm proud to work on the Q400 because we have over a thousand birds in the air right now as we speak. 
and we build a quality Canadian product that everyone can relate to. My motto always has been, I am Canadian, I am Bombardier.